Good afternoon. It's tea time number 42. Let's take these moments to escape the chaos of the internet and focus on tea. And before we sip and before we steep, we must first boil some water. As this winter storm approaches, let's take a look at today's tea. Today's tea will be Egyptian Chamomile by Harney and Sons. It's a caffeine, caffeine-free herbal tea. Let's read this tea's description. Egypt provides, Egypt provides us with the finest chamomile flowers. This level of quality produces a relaxing tisane with definite body. Enjoy our convenient box of 20 bags. Each tea bag brews a 6 to 8 ounce cup of tea. Let's also read Mike's tea ratings details. Drinking the liqueur from the chamomile flower is very ancient and widespread through many cultures. It is grown in Europe and Mexico, but we like the sweetness of the flowers grown in Egypt. This tea's brewing instructions state, use one cup of boiling water per tea bag and steep for five minutes. Our tea kettle just popped up. Let's steep this tea. <laughs> I guess it's going to sink in a minute. There we go and wait the recommended five minutes. Our five minutes of steep time has been reached. Let's try this tea. This tea has some light sensibilities. It smells particularly sweet but its taste is relatively light, mild, easygoing, palate cleansing. I have to say something I really like about this tea already is that it stays fresh. It doesn't um, get old. I've been taking a bunch of sips now. It just kind of continues to, to live. Um, much like a green tea, just like a nice hover, a nice general flavor uh, throughout the beginning, initial taste, and then through into the aftertaste. It's like a nice lingering quality in tea that that I think is some of my favorite parts of great tea is that it's kind of the whole experience stays with you as you drink the tea. And it's not this fade in, fade out, kind of like needing to repeat uh, sipping in order to kind of get a, a good feeling from the tea. Yeah, there's some, some airiness that I really like about this tea. Some emptiness, some very light, sweet hints. And overall a subtle tea. Yeah, very wholesome tea here. Has to be among some of the best chamomile I've ever had. Uh, saying that though, it's not my favorite tea overall. Chamomile's never been a go-to for me. Uh, deciding between two decimal points here. This tea gets a 7.8. surprised that I like it so much. Can't say that I'm going to be going to it any more than 
when I review or when someone recommends recommends it or I feel like it's an appropriate time. <laughs> but uh, overall, a great tea uh, recommended by me. And that's a review. Thanks for listening, for watching. If you're coming from Twitter or Instagram, an extra special hello to you. And, yeah, enjoy the snow if you're on the East Coast. And be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers.